Who you really are is what you do in secret. Because you know the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was talking to his companions and he said about the majority of his ummah, the Muslims, the majority of the members of his ummah will end up in hellfire, not because of common sins that everyone else does, not because of major sins such as alcohol and zina. But he said, when they were alone in secret in their comfort zone, when they are alone in private with the things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden, they penetrate the forbidden boundaries. They look at things which they don't, they're not supposed to look at. They begin to talk and say things which they are not supposed to. They chat with people whom they don't even know who they're chatting with across the world behind usernames about things which serve their desires. They listen to things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden them to listen to because that's what they desire. And the majority of people from the ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will enter hellfire because of what they do in private which no one else knows. You know why? It's not because of doing that sin. Some of them are minor sins. In fact, the majority of them are minor sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not put the people from the ummah of Rasulullah in the fire because of merely just the sins. But you see, when you are alone in your comfort zone, that's who you really are. It's who you really are. And that's the reason why members of the ummah of Rasulullah may end up being tortured or punishment, punished, not because of the actual acts which they are doing, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving, He's merciful. But it's because that's what defines who you really are in your identity. That's who you really are. Now let's look at the opposite effect. There are people who you see them smiling in front of you. They're in the masjid, they're cheerful. And you think, subhanAllah, they've got no problems at all. But when they are alone between them and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they make wudu. They pray two rak'ahs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They stand long in their salat and their smile turns into tears. They're crying when they're alone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These are the mu'mineen whose true identity is really the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They cannot wait to get home after their long day. Their spouse goes to sleep. Their children go to sleep and they want their own private time to do what? Just to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to cry to Him, to complain to Him, to talk to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. The sign of a person whose true identity is the, and their priority is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will find that whether they are in need or not in need, when they are in trouble or not in trouble, they just love to talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. They make dua when they are in need and they make dua when they are not in need. Because a lot of us have forgotten that dua is not just about when you need something from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should not be a person who only turns to Allah when they need something or when they are in strife, when they are in hardships. A mu'min makes no difference whose priority is Allah. They turn to Allah when they're happy and when they're sad, when they're in need and when they're not. You know why? Because they truly love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. سبيل مريح تنهى دايا صحي كي تستريح وضوء